So this is the Shengshou Yufeng V2 3x3 version. Um, so the Yufeng V1 was a very interesting puzzle because it featured so many things that you saw in like the top end cubes from GAN. And at the time, it was the only company to have them at even remotely close. Well, it still is. I mean, the way the V9 ball core is still £33. Um, so yeah, it was just way, way cheaper than anything else and still had those features for £15. Now the V2 is available for £16. Um, It does feel rather weird. Let's see, does it still have those features? Yeah, I mean, it still has a very clear auto alignment system in there. There are still edge magnets, in fact, two of them by the looks of it. If you connect to the fit corner feet. I mean, I think Sheng Shou are getting really, really carried away with magnets. I mean, there's more magnets in this than a GAN 13 maglev UV. So, we've got a magnetic core. Okay. We've got magnets there, and we've got magnets on the feet of the corners, which connect to the edge. And you can see two more magnets there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is more mag the most magnetic cube on the market. But just because it has more magnets than any other cube doesn't make it a good cube. Um, but I'm not going to pass judgment too soon. It's just they release so much weird stuff. Auto alignment system. Is it? Okay, yeah, that is still maglev. Okay, it doesn't really matter. It would be so funny if they had a spring system in here. <laughs> Just all these magnets and it's not even maglev. But it's like, yeah, so what? They did that? Great! Good choice, Sheng Shao. Maybe it's a good idea. But of course, they'd never do that because people wouldn't buy it. People probably won't buy it anyway, but maybe enough people will buy it. So, corner cutting, well, it's with all these adjustments, I mean, it still manages to be hard to corner cut. Uh, yeah. I mean, reverse corner cutting is so difficult to test. I mean, basically, yeah. It has a full range of corner cutting, but I don't think it would do if it didn't have its auto alignment system. Which, yeah, you shouldn't need to rely on an auto alignment system to have the full range of corner cutting. Like, we've had many cubes prove you can have the full range of corner cutting without an auto alignment system. really weird and get require some getting used to. I suspect, I mean, it does feel very, very dry out of the box. In fact, is there even any lubricant in there whatsoever? Maybe a very, very tiny amount of silicone spray from the factory. I mean, it is almost completely dry. So that could be a factor limiting its performance to me. But <laughs> why would they do that? Like, why don't they just at least put some silicone spray in the cube in the factory? I mean, every cube company has been doing that for years and years now. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's not a terrible cube, but I don't see... And it'll be interesting to see what it feels like with some actual lubricant in it, because there is literally none whatsoever. Um, but yeah, I don't see many people using this. Um, 
yeah, I don't see many people using this. I don't see many people liking it, but it's out there. If you want all these weird um, features that come with top range of cubes, but you don't want to spend um, at least 33 pounds on the top range of cubes, well, you can spend 16 and get a Shang Show Yu Feng V2 with all those options. Or you can get the Yu Feng V1, same thing, very slightly different mechanism. Right, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.